Hi everybody! So I want to apologize for taking so long to get back on here. Um, as people who have been watching me know, it's been really crazy around my house. <laughs> um, not going to get into it, but um, I'm getting better and I'm moving forward with my life. And so, uh, yeah, so I just want to apologize and say I didn't forget about you guys. And I had a couple of complaints about my last video about the What Turns Me On video. And it's really disappointing. Um, I understand that a few, uh, quite a bit of my subscriber base is corset fans, but if you're going to get upset at me for doing one video that doesn't involve a corset, just one video, well then, that's just really sad in my opinion. I mean, if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it. I don't force you to watch any of my videos. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I've also been sick. Um, I wanted to get right to the questions because I feel bad that it's been so long. Um, on my last video, somebody asked me if I was a goth and, you know, I didn't know it. Well, I do know it. I mean, uh, when I was growing up, I was definitely goth. I was definitely into all the goth stuff and everything. But I got to the age where I was just, you know, it, I was still, still amazingly attracted to me and I wish I could pull it off, but... I don't know. With the way my life is right now, I can't really <laughs> be gothic. <laughs> It'd be awesome, but I can't. Um, they also asked if I um, wanted to to not corset other parts of my body, but there are things that can, you know, tighten around your legs or a whole bodysuit that tightens or anything. And I am very much into compression on my stomach. But I don't like compression on my chest. I think I said that in one of my first videos. I don't like compression on my chest. I don't know if it would be sexually arousing for me to have my legs or arms squished. I'm not against it, but I don't have the money to go out and buy any of the things that would it would take to do. Um, I've had another bunch of questions asking me where to buy courses. Unfortunately, I don't know. I haven't gotten a chance to make enough money to um, buy more courses. I've only got this one and then the other one. Um, I will put a link in the, um, the sidebar over here for the Lisa Corset site. I don't know how many times I've told you about this now, but they are awesome. And um, they will have um, good quality corsets and tell you where you can buy really good quality corsets. Uh, I would trust them with anything that has to do with corsetry. They've been around for so long that they know everything. Um, and, and it'll just be good to go there. Um, Somebody asked me if music plays a big part in my life. Yes, I don't know what I would do without music. I absolutely adore music. Almost every kind of music. I don't much care for country or Christian music, but uh, classical, anything from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. I don't like a lot of 80s music, but there's quite a bit of 80s music I like. I like rock, metal, I don't much care for rap. There are a few rap songs I like. I don't uh, care for pop music, but like I like Britney Spears' new album and Christina Aguilera's new album. I don't really have, you know, a specific favorite kind of band or anything like that. But music plays a whole huge role in my life in almost everything I do. I carry around a little MP3 player full of my little little, c compared to an iPod, little amount of music that I just love to listen to. Um, someone asked me how someone would convince a girlfriend or a significant other to try wearing a corset. Now, if you are um, ashamed of corseting, you need to stop being ashamed because it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's an, an amazing thing. Um, to convince somebody else, if they've never, if they don't know that you're into corseting, then tell them first. You mean to tell them that you're very interested in it and it's something that if it turns you on then it turns you on. If it's just something that's fascinating to you then it's fascinating. But it's something you need to talk about with your partner. Um, as far as convincing them to try it, tell them that even after you've talked to them and shown them that you don't, you know, that you are into it, that you don't want them to tight lace right away. Um, Obviously, I mean, you can't just put a corset on and just shrink like I have. It takes time and it takes training, but that's something that I've dedicated myself to. Now, getting your girlfriend, wife, significant other a corset as a gift 
and saying, hey, this is something that I like and I think that you would look amazing in, then anybody that's not going to try that is kind of closed-minded and it's really frustrating. And I understand some people are going to be like that. I get that. But if it's something that's important to you, then it's something that should be important to the person that you're with. Um, I know it's kind of superficial and whatever, but if it's like if you have an interest in it like I do, where it is an actual part of my life, my everyday life, and it, it takes time and dedication, then then um, I need to be with somebody who understands that and is willing to accept that and hopefully enjoy the fact that I do this. And um, yeah, that's the only way I can say to convince them is to say, look, you don't have to. Um, but I would really appreciate if you just tried it on. It might change our sex life. It might make you feel better, more sexy, everything like that. <laughs> My daughter. Um, have I ever been sexually aroused by an email? I have not recently been sexually aroused by an email because I have not been sexually aroused lately. Um, do I wear my corsets under my clothing? I do actually wear my corsets under my clothing sometimes. But I like the um, the effect when I walk down the street and people are like, whoa, look at her, she's got a corset on. And I understand that there's a hint of mystery to be worn underneath clothing and people are like, something's off about her, but I can't put my finger on it. And then if they are so lucky to you know touch it, then they would figure it out. But I, I like wearing it over my clothing for my own enjoyment and for the shock factor. Um, do I sleep in my corset? I have been sleeping in my other corset. I want to make a video of myself getting ready for bed, getting out of this corset, putting on my sleeping corset, and then getting into bed. Um, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Best website to buy corsets at. Again, I'm going to put the link over there for the Lisa site. And I'm going to put a couple of other links, hopefully, for um, websites I've heard good things about. Now, I am not an advocate for any of them. I'm an advocate for the Lisa site, but that's only because I really like them. But I don't know anything about the other sites, except that I've had good pe people tell me they're good. Um, and also, the last thing was, uh, somebody wanted to know when, how you know when you're ready to go down to the next corset size. When you are in your corset, excuse me, I have pajamas on. If you're in your corset and you get to the point where it's less than this and you can almost touch the backs together, then and it's completely comfortable that it's not any kind of, um, un, you know, any kind of irritation or um, hard to breathe, uncomfortable for long periods of time. I think that would be when you should shrink. That's when I shrink. Is when I completely, when I put it on and it's not a hassle. It doesn't feel bad or, or um, something I have to get used to. When it's just, you know, you put it on and oh, you know, that just feels normal. That's when I would shrink. Um, I can't tell anybody else, but that's how I did it. Um, yeah. So. Any more questions, go ahead. Um, hopefully I'll be able to put up a new video of my lacing tonight. I want to do it tonight because it's a thunderstorm and it's so pretty outside and there's been like a weather forecast scary. Anyway, it's getting up there in minutes. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to hop on and I'll show you guys how good I'm doing on my straightening out. Unfortunately, that rib is still broken. I'm going to try and go see a seamstress to get it all straightened out. But um, there's that. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. And thank you guys for being so patient with me. I'm sorry I've been sick. I had pink eye and aunt bit me and I can't find my homework. Uh, I love you guys. Bye.